So this is the outside of the property. So when we come in, we just have like a little patio area. And then I'll show you guys the outside first. So we go up these little stairs. And then you guys know me, I love a pool. So this is kind of what sold it to me. The people live there. And then as we walk in, we go straight into the kitchen. Just a cute little tiny kitchen. And then it's conjoined with like a small living room, dining table, TV. Come back so you can see the full kitchen. I'll show you the bathroom in a sec, but Bernard's in there. Oh, he's coming out. Anyways, here we go up the stairs. Yeah, I'm just vlogging while it's empty. I'll be two secs. And then we got the bed. It's quite dark with the blue, I must say. And then some drawers, hangers, a little seating area upstairs. Not that you can really like look into much. Here's me. Storage cupboards there, by the way. Right, let's go back down to the bathroom. Didn't turn off the light, what's new? And this is the bathroom. So cute. I actually really like the bathroom because it's quite a weird shape. I look an absolute mess because obviously I don't normally vlog on the first day. So yeah, that's the little house tour. We're gonna go quickly to Morrison's get some food shopping and then chill for the rest of the evening. So I'm not gonna vlog anymore until tomorrow. So I'll see you guys in the morning. So I'm finally back with a vlog. I'm currently in Wales for the week with the boyfriend. We've already had a chaotic morning because he flooded the bathroom. So we spent like a good 20, 30 minutes cleaning that up. Um, it must have been him because I had a shower yesterday and it was fine. So we just blame him. But today we're going to Pen with him. I like to call it Pen Wife Fan because I didn't know how to pronounce it. So yeah, that's part of the Brecon, Beacons National Park. So it's like you go up to the highest point, I think it is, and then you have like a view of the surroundings. And then we'll just pop into like the town centre of Brecon, I think, and then just get some lunch and have a look around there. We also need to do food shopping because we went yesterday, but we didn't pick up much. We didn't like plan any meals, so we didn't kind of know what to get. I've also got this horrible spot on my face, so just ignore that. It just keeps coming back, it won't go. Um, yeah, so we're just basically ready to go. I'll show you my outfit of the day. So I'm not really dressed appropriately for like a little hike, but this is all I had. So I've got some leggings and my little top on, but it is gonna be kind of like warmish today. So I know I'm gonna get hot like I'm hot already. I'm just a hot person in general. So this hopefully should be okay. Oh, I gave me <laughs> Go on, carry on. Look, look where she's brought me, look. <laughs> Absolute joker. BC is not happy about the potential hike up there. And uh, there's no parking, is there? You're just a, you're a joke. That's what you are, you're just a joke. I told you we were gonna need hiking stuff, hiking boots, everything. AKA, we're not prepared at all. Happy birthday. <laughs> it's not funny, is it? Is it funny? Look around, John. Yeah, everyone's um, in hiking stuff, but no one's actually hiking up the hill because... Yeah, because they've got better things to be doing with their, with their day, with their Sunday. Okay, let's just put it this way. He told me to plan the whole holiday. He goes, you're the planner. So I spent all this morning and last night trying to plan something. He did... He was just playing his games. Yes? Am I right? I wasn't playing any games. He was. He was playing Clash no. Royale and his silly little Weatherdale game that no, he wants to play. I wasn't playing any game. I he was? was. I was mopping the floor. I'm talking about last night. I'm floor. talking about last I night. Mopping the floor. Why was you mopping the floor though? I was mopping the floor this morning because you don't know how to mop. I do know That's how to why. mop. You just took over That's it. He I'm made the mess. The he can clear up. This is what I have to put up with. Come on, let's go. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm dead serious. We drove down the road so um, I could at least see something. This is the reservoir. Okay, so after this plan was a fail because BC obviously didn't plan properly, we're gonna go to Brecon Town Centre. We're just gonna kind of like go around there. I need to find like little gift shops to buy things for like my mum and no, we need Sprout. Some hiking gear. That's what we need. BC wants to come back and do it again with proper hiking gear. Yeah, we might come back here. We might not. Who knows? So I don't want to talk too loud because there's like tons of people in here. We've just gone into Brecon Town. 
I convinced Bernard to buy some black North Face shorts. They're in the sale for like 35. Um, but we're just in Weatherspoons at the moment. It's quite early, it's only 11 o'clock, but a lot is closed. I forgot it's Sunday and Sunday hours, and things are just generally closed on a Sunday. So yeah, we're just gonna get some food. I'm charging up my phone because it's dying. And I really don't know what we're gonna do after this, but I'll show you guys whatever we decide to get. And I have to get the salted caramel cookie dough because oh my god it's the bomb.com okay guys this is my basic meal we have a little cranberry juice bc's gone ott with a whole whole jacket potato bc's hungry because what girlfriend, is they chicken wings his girlfriend didn't get him any breakfast this morning so he's starving he had cereal so this is our little meal what's this oh beans Mine's already melting. So I got bubble gum and milky bar. I just got two scoops. When I'd got four scoops, what did you get? Milky bar and salted caramel. Milky bar and salted caramel. Anyways, my melt, my ice cream's melting, so I need to go. Bye. We have just got back. Literally, I didn't vlog much because we were walking back to the car because it's running out of time on the parking but yeah that ice cream was literally so nice i did get the milky bar and bubblegum like i said and literally it was so lush it was like one of the best ice creams i've ever had i think we're gonna go in the pool it's not like too hot but it's also not cold i don't think the pool is heated but yeah we'll go see i'm gonna put on my swimmy and yeah i'll film a little bit of like going in the pool and stuff um but i won't film loads okay this is the swimmy i've gone for nice little bright oh, pink nice one pool is actually freezing obviously it's definitely not a heated pool i really don't want to get in because i normally just jump jump or dive into pools but obviously i don't know how deep this one is it don't look like too deep i've literally just finished in the pool i didn't vlog anything because honestly that pool is so cold like it's so much warmer outside than it is in the pool but yeah so we're gonna go clean up now and we'll probably like vlog a bit of the pool on like the warmer days just because honestly it's such fat oh domino's just came Bernard's ordered a gluten-free one Bernard's just ordered a gluten-free one with no mushrooms and nicole thought it'd be funny just for us and on. here's my tiny little pizza here's his one i don't think so yes my bad he took the, the mushrooms off and i put them back on thinking he accidentally took them off because I took the bacon on to check because you can't really like make your own gluten-free pizzas with Domino's. You can only just have like what they've got. So we've got our pizzas because we didn't go to the supermarket and get any food because, I don't know, Bernard said we'll do it tomorrow. So being a little bit lazy. So we're going to eat this and watch Raising Canaan on Amazon, as you can see. So, yeah, I'll just catch up with you guys in the morning because I won't be vlogging for the rest of the evening. Put your tits away. My tits are away. I've literally got you guys balanced in the cupboard right now so you guys can actually see me. So we are attempting to make gluten-free pancakes. I make these all the time. They are literally the best thing ever. So we've got some of this. This is the gluten-free self-raising flour, but you can get like cheaper ones in Asda for 45p. Oh, so because I don't have scales to measure it out, I've kind of winged it and measured, tried to convert it to litres, which we'll see how that goes. And then you need a teaspoon, oh, so 200 grams of flour, self-raisin flour, and one teaspoon of baking powder, gluten-free. So we'll literally just mix it up. Oh my God, I just chucked it away myself. I hope your tits are away. Yes, my boobs are away, thank you. And then what I'll do is I'll mix 300 millilitres of milk in here with an egg, mix that together, pour it in with the flour, mix that, and then you pour it in the pan, simple. This is baking tutorials with uh, NLH Bakes, you see. Oh, and because we don't have oil, we're gonna use butter in the pan instead. Okay, we are attempting to cook the pancakes. I also forgot to say, when you make the batter, you need to leave it for 10 minutes because all the ingredients need to, whatever, mix and merge together and it becomes like a thick batter, so. I've got it in there. I've only got this though to flip it over, so we'll see how it goes. Okay guys, it didn't come out too bad. I just had to get another thing to flip it and it did fold under a little bit. What do you think? 
trash. We need to see if it tastes good first. Absolute trash. Oh, cheers. I accidentally set the smoke alarm off. Oops. Unbelievable. You're going to keep Oops. setting off. That'll be right. Did you take a bite of it? No, because you set the smoke alarm off. <laughs> okay. Managed to flip it, no problem. No matter what Airbnb I go to, I always seem to set the alarm off now. Cheers. What are you saying, hun? Is it nice? Hun, I'm be... I'm No, be legit. I'm dead serious. Okay, well, why is it not nice? Um, it needs some cinnamon sugar. See, I know you're being stupid. Oh, look, guys, you can see the steam coming off my pancake. I've put my salt on. My salt. Salt. <laughs> my salt on my pancake. That wouldn't surprise me at all in the slightest if you did put salt on it. <laughs> I'll put sugar, guys. I'll put sugar. BC said that the pancake, the second pancake, was better. I've slightly burnt my one. I remember on my other clip I said that the vlog had ended, and then I thought, well, let me show you guys my pancake. Delish. Good morning guys. So today is a good day because we are off to <laughs> I'm lost my train of thought. We are off to Cardiff Cruise, so we're gonna go like around um on like it's a little ferry boat, so I'm kind of like a bit nervous because it's not a big ferry boat, it's one of the small ones. Anyways, and we're gonna go around the bay for 45 minutes. This is my outfit of the day because it's gonna be really hot today. I'm not wearing these flip-flops with it, obviously. Just a cute little dress from Asda, the supermarket George. I'm gonna put my hair down, but it's just because it's so long at the moment. And so yeah, we're gonna go do the Cardiff cruise and then we're gonna do some shopping. I kind of wanna do Cardiff Castle, but we might not have enough time because it closes at three. So that's like at the bottom of the priority list today. BC is wearing his new shorts that he got yesterday that I was telling you guys about. The ones I found for him. Um, What else was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so guys, we, we found the problem of the flooding because yesterday I had a shower and there was no water coming out whilst I was in the shower and then afterwards, BC went in the bathroom and was like, yeah, it's leaking again. So they gave us a bottle of wine as apology, which none of us drink, but we'll take it home anyway. But yeah, they didn't need to do that because we know these things happen, but it was basically that this they need, he needed to reseal it, put the sealant on the bath, right? To be fair, BC did say he probably needs to put more sealant on and that was the case. So yeah, we're gonna leave in about 20 minutes because it takes an hour to get there. And then, yeah, we'll just see you guys when we're down there. All right guys, we've made it down to the front. Cardiff Bay. Cardiff Bay, Mermaid Keys. Also, it's still really foggy, so we don't know how much we're going to be able to see. And it's really sunny and bright. I told you it was going to get warm. Our boat has arrived. This is what I mean when I say it's like small, but not small. Still waiting to board. It is 11.26, got four minutes. And the tour should take around 45 minutes. He hates being on camera, honestly. No, listen, I don't hate vlogs, but I want to be paid to be in the vlogs. Yeah, but this is my channel. You can make care. your own Chanel. I don't care. Why don't you make your own one? I want some of that. Some of that. Follow him on Twitch, Gaming with Irish. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's not what and it is Instagram. Anymore. That's not what it is anymore. What is it? It's not that. Okay, we'll just search Gaming with Irish. Where do you want to sit? Sit on chairs that aren't wet. Huh? Some of them are a bit wet. I don't want a wet bum, you know. Yeah. Yeah, sit here. No, my phone just fell out of my pocket. Yeah. There's literally only us and one family on the boat. Can you stop the fire then, mate, please? No. My fringe is just on one today. I can't even see. My eyes are so sensitive to the light. We're going to I don't know where. Ibiza. Guys, this is our... Oh, this is the great view, guys, of the fog. <laughs> literally. Because smart people book at 11 in the morning. You told me to go for 11.30. Guys, we literally can't see anything but pure fog. But you can see around here. We have signs of life. We've made it to the other side. Nothing great around here. How cold is it? Oh, it's cold. <laughs> it's cold. It's suddenly gone really cold. Oh no, look, my fringe is gonna be horrible after this. Going through that fog, it was, um, it makes your hair all greasy. Look, I can already see it. Have you decided where we're eating? Yeah, Nando's. No, we're gonna try and go somewhere different that we don't normally eat. But I always get the same thing there anyway, so. Thing. Thing. Yeah. Steak or a burger? Thing or thing. Buy the steak yesterday, actually. Okay, guys, we've decided on iguanas, and I'm thinking of trying the chili con carne because I've never tried one before, and this is my opportunity. 
And then, look, they've got two for one cocktails all day, every day. And I said to, I said to BC, if they've got pina colada, we're going in here. Oh, look, this and is easy. Do. Guys, look how sick my pina coladas Jesus, are. This mine's well strong. Is it? What was yours? A ca Capri Caparina. Yeah, lush. Discreetly vlogging. Let's try mine. It's nice. Can I try, can I try this one? If you must. I think it's when it first hits you. Yours is like more creamy, isn't it? Yeah. Taste my one. Let me film you. It's gonna be funny. Is, is it recording now? Yeah. Alright, go on. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> What's up with that? That's disgusting. It's banging. That's disgusting. It's lovely. That's proper sour, like sweet and sour. Everything has arrived. He went for what was it? What chicken? I can't remember the name. Bahain, Bahain, no, Bahia. Oh. We've got wings. Coconut chicken. Look, guys, this is my chili. It actually looks quite nice, so. This is going to be banging. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I feel like this is spicy. Hey, guys, it's my first time trying chili. Gotcha, I nod ahead. I was waiting for like spice to kick in. It's not bad. No, it's not spicy. It's quite nice. Yeah. We'll see how I um, get on with it though. Check out the wings. <laughs> we, we got chips as a backup in case it was crap. Well, I'm gonna try that. Oh wait, keep it going. What's this? The, the chicken. Coconut chicken. Why are you making a weird face before you I'm even like, start okay. tasting it? Huh? I don't know either, but I still eat that. It's nice, isn't it? It's actually now, right. now you've got to taste a bit of seaweed. Is that seaweed? Yeah, taste it. It's really uh -huh. nice. Honestly, nice. it's really nice. Uh -huh. It is really nice. Alright, nice. oh, taste the chicken. Taste the chicken wing, man. No, I don't eat chicken off a bone. Fun, taste some seaweed. No. Okay, we're back in the car after having lunch. Lunch was actually really nice. I really liked my meal and Bernard really liked his. So yeah, that was really nice. We got ice cream afterwards, but I didn't vlog it just because it was just ag, like getting the camera in and out my bag and then like trying to hold ice cream and that. But it wasn't as good as the ice cream we had yesterday. I did get salted caramel and bubble gum and then BC got um, salted caramel and pistachio, which was nasty. He made me try it. Now we're off to Cardiff town centre. We're going to do a bit of shopping. So I'm not going to like vlog any of that because I never shop, never vlog while I shop just because it's just ag as well. So yeah, we're having a good day so far. Weather is really hot as well, isn't it? Too Bright hot. and sunny. Yeah, it is very hot. So hopefully if the pool's heated, it should be heated up quite a bit for us to go in later maybe because it will get like really warm where we are and it's like the pool area is like a sun trap that's what the guy was saying yesterday so yeah we'll catch up with the guys in a bit we went shopping and it was basically a fail literally the shopping center is massive like they have so many shops but everything i wanted they didn't have in store so, so i'm hoping that bc will take me to newport and we can do all the shops there because it's basically all the shops there as well they've got a couple um shopping centers and then like loads of shops on the outside so yeah we're just gonna like chill for about 10 minutes and then we'll get in the pool i need to find an outfit to wear because tomorrow we're going kayaking i'm so excited and i won't be able to vlog any of it which is annoying but it is what it is we was gonna get a gopro and like stick at the end but we're not but yeah i'll give you a bit more gossip on that tomorrow this is the little bikini that i've gone for it's from asos i've had it like a couple of years hey, get off Literally, all I want to do is 
shower after our last drama yesterday and the day before. No, it was yesterday. <sighs> There's no hot water. It literally is stone cold. So lucky BC is a plumber and he's dealing with a boiler upstairs. Hopefully BC knows what he's doing. Yeah, every time we've like gone and used the pool, we always have drama afterwards and like we really want to shower. We don't want to be all like left in chlorine. This is my second attempt, but I have cooked my little egg on toast for BC. It's got some orange juice. Basically, just ignore what I look like because I've literally just woken up. But basically, I cooked the first egg and it didn't look like it was cooked because bear in mind I have no experience with cooking eggs apart from like the last two times. So it didn't look great. So are we going to get turn it over? Or, I was going to do something with it. And anyways, the egg broke. So I'm like, no, I've got to make another one. So I made another one and then it still didn't look like it was cooked. So I went to like move it and then it just popped and it banged and it scared me, didn't it? Oh, I ain't got your cutlery. And I will just have shredded wheat as per normal. Yeah, we've had our breakfast. BC's just finishing off some things that he needs to do for work and I'm getting ready for kayaking. So as I mentioned yesterday, we are going kayaking. We've hired like a double kayak for a couple hours. I originally inquired, I guess, for like some white water great rapids thing or something. And obviously she said it's our first time. So I said, yeah, and she said, well, cause you're novices, like I recommend that you just go on like our flat water outside and just do a few hours like out there we're not prepared so i'm going to wear a swimsuit i guess under some leggings and these are quite good because these dry really quick um, and they recommended on the website you wear like waterproof quick absorbing or whatever it is stuff and then a t-shirt we've also got to bring like spare clothes and a towel just in case obviously we do fall in i kind of don't want to but you just never know because my boyfriend's mean to me so yeah oh i didn't update you guys yesterday as well about the bath so i text the owners and we ended up having to wait like an hour or so for them to get back to us so i cooked dinner in the meantime and then he came and said that like the cylinder valve had dropped or something so it happens like every so often so we had to like reset it or whatever and yeah we had hot water so that was fine so i had a shower Are you excited <laughs> this is our little floating buoyancy aid, so now I'm taking my phone so we can keep everything in. It's not sweaty for it, it's just shiny. <laughs> Off we go to our boat. I'm not gonna lie, guys, this is so scary. Go on, paddle. <laughs> yeah, literally, we can't, you can't, one person can't do it, you have to both be on it. Let me show you. This is the view. So pretty. This is the view. Bernard eating the marshmallows. We're just taking a little break. Guys, this couple down there, are, they overtook us because we were stopping like videoing and taking selfies and then we just couldn't catch up with them and then we catched up with them and overtook them and now they, we've kind of stopped. But I don't know how they're going so fast. They're like a much older couple as well. You'd think we'd have like the strength. I go gym. He's in construction. They're about as strong as nothing. Yeah, but I have some strength. You'd think like I'd be really good, but I'm not, so. But yeah, this is really nice. I feel like I'm a... Shall we spin because we're going against the current? Here's the view. Yeah, because we can always faff around down there at the bottom. But yeah, this is the view, situation. Situation back there. Yeah, but you can't steer from the front. Change. I'm a master blower now, everybody. Master blower? Last night. No, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh. oh, look at me. Oh, I can steer from the front. Oh, yeah. Change, 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 change. It's so hard to keep a still hand when you're in a boat. I know. Right. Oh, it wasn't, it wasn't recording? Yeah, it was. It wasn't. Are you serious? You didn't press record? No. Did you? No. Are you lying? No. <laughs> the guys, the people are catching up with us, so we're going for it. Yeah, you need to, you need to go. <laughs> just go get some content for the bloke. Right, we have literally just got off the canoe. 
We're just chilling on the steps at the moment. To view. So nice. Some kids paddle boarding, which we wanted to do, but but they're with a school. So we're just gonna chill here for like a few minutes because we had two hours, so till one o'clock. But obviously we turned around pretty early, and yeah, we just kind of been paddling up and down this section. But I would say this has been so much fun. Do you agree? Talk to me. Yeah. What? It's been really fun. Yeah, has been great. Probably one of our best activities we've done because we normally do cycling and that's normally horrible. But yeah, we're probably going to be sunburnt as well because we've got no sun cream because that's just how we roll. Bread for me, nothing for you. We've come to here, Turkish place. Guys, this looks lovely. This looks like proper chicken, unlike the one he made us get the other day. The one I made you get. We've just got back from the town centre. So as you saw, we went to a Turkish restaurant and then we went to like the marketplace and a few shops, but there kind of like wasn't a lot there. I did pick my mum up a present, which was a nice like hand painted vase with bumblebees on. So this is the bikini choice. This is like literally so tight on me now. I've put on so much weight since I last wore it, clearly. Yeah, we're gonna go in the pool now. Hopefully it's not as cold, but I think it still will be, but the sun is all on the pool this time. So this is what my man does while I slave after him cooking his dinner. Got a death race on because that's my favourite film. I am cooking meatballs and pasta for dinner tonight. We are having, well, what do I look like? I've just had a shower and hair wash. We're having gluten free meatballs and pasta. And then I might make some pancakes again later because I'm kind of craving them. Um, yeah, we're going to watch Raising Canaan while we watch, while we watch, we're going to watch Raising Canaan while we eat our dinner. And then that's kind of the plan. So the rest of the night, we had a little bit of time in the pool. And we need to plan what we're doing tomorrow as well because we have no plans at the moment. But it's going to be, I think, cloudy and rain. So I need to check the weather again. And yeah, I'm going to call my parents later. Have a little WhatsApp video call with them. Dinner is served. What are we saying, Hanzo? What are we saying? Does it look nice? That's what we're saying. Yeah, it's good, Hanzo. I need but to get you some cutlery. Yeah, it looks good, but there's a lot of juice. I might have to eat it at the table. Good morning, guys. So, I don't know where I last left the vlog off yesterday. Sure, I've got my core yet. Out. He's just chilling, playing games. Honestly, guys, it's literally so hot in here. We've had to bring the fan downstairs. So this morning I did shooting for a couple outfits for my thumbnail. And now we're just going to go off to Raglan Castle and then probably go back into the town centre, get some lunch, maybe go to the market again, because this time it's a flea market. like So it has like all vintage stuff in it. Vintage, yeah. I know, I said a bit weird, didn't I? <laughs> Today's lovely outfit is just a cute little top from New Look with just yeah. Lulu, stop it, with Lulu lemon leggings. I don't really know if this goes that well. I did put on blue shorts, but BC said just to go for the leggings, so I'm going for the leggings. And then I will put on my sandals. We've made it to the castle. There, if you can see up here, there's a flag and there's people. I didn't know we could go in and up the top. This is exciting. Don't know where he's going. This is the little moat. That's what you call it, isn't it, hun? A moat. The castle's kind of falling apart, basically, as well. Cute. He keeps taking me down all the stairs into these dungeon places. Oh my god, see, it is, it is a dungeon. Look. Dinosaur bones. <laughs> BC making me go all the way to the top, up there. This is called the Grand Staircase. I can see why. Update guys, <laughs> I'm just out of breath from walking up them stairs. But we've made it to the top. Not too much to see. 
It's literally all just the brick, but if you can see well, over. Just the castle's there, Whee! Childish. Yeah, you made me walk all this way for no reason then. At least he's out of breath as well. <laughs> it's well, not just me. I'm definitely not. <laughs> I've got asthma, so I'm allowed to be out of breath. I've got asthma as well, I'm just not inside. No, you don't. Yeah, I don't. You don't. Check my... Don't film. What? Because you're just going to record my face. Stay still, hurry up. Recording. I'm not recording. You are, I just had the beat. No, that was an accident, I went off it. No, because it's red light, it's on. It's not recording. Yes, it is. No, it's I not. can see the red light. No, you can't. <laughs> Guys, I'm so out of breath. <laughs> we just walked up like 500 steps. It was about 20 steps. It weren't, there was loads. It was about 20. No. So we were coming up the stairs. And look at this little pigeon. Just nest in there. So guys, I'm glad we went to that castle because originally BC said, well, why do you want to go? It's just an abandoned castle. But actually there was quite a lot there considering. I literally just thought it would be you just kind of walk around a broken castle kind of thing. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. So I'm glad we went. It was only like £6 anyway to get in. And um, yeah, I'm glad we had nice weather as well, but it was um, a bit too much because we were getting hot and sweaty. He's gone for, what are they, muscles? Yeah. Look how nasty they are. Are they going to taste one? No, definitely not. It's got a massive steak. It's only 20 hours because you've got a bone. Literally. We're back from our little... Excursion. Yeah, and town visit. We got some ice cream after Casa Black... Casablanca, Casablanca. Um, the food was alright, service was slow, very slow. And now we're back here. We did look around a few shops, went to the supermarket to get dinner. Oh, we went to a bakery, I got a little ice bun, he got a custard slice. I didn't get anything. She did. Healthy living. So yeah, now we're just going to chill. I might do some more shooting, seeing as I've got some time. Good morning, guys. So... We are off to Newport, going to do a bit of shopping. Check out the weather today. Absolutely hammering it down. But we've been quite lucky considering Sunday to Wednesday it's been like really warm. Um, so I thought if we do shopping today as well, because some of it's inside, so we'll be in the, in shelter. I've got BC into the simple life. No, you definitely haven't. I have, he's been watching it. Not if you haven't seen The Simple Life, guys, you need to watch it, it's so funny. Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie. Oh, man, I'll show you my quick OOTD and then we must depart. So I've done my little braids today and then just like a oversized smock peplum top from New Look and then leggings as always because yeah, the weather's not that great. I will show you guys if I make any purchases. I'm hoping to buy some stuff today because I still need to get a couple of like little gifts for Sprout. <laughs> Tell them what we're seeing. You're not allowed cameras in there, mate. What are we seeing? You're not allowed cameras in there. Yeah, what are we seeing? I'm recording you, not the film. We're seeing a uh, rusty blonde XXX. We're seeing Shang-Chi. I haven't seen a Marvel film in ages, but because it's been raining today, we wanted to kill some time, so we thought we'd come to cinema. So we are here. We did a bit of shopping. We went to Newport. We didn't really like it there, so we've come to... Cracker. Is it Crum Crumbrian? Crumbrian? I don't know how to say it. It's in Welsh. Ugh. It's a bit dry. Okay, so we're out of the cinema. That film was actually quite good, because I didn't really have much expectations for it. We kind of like rush watched the trailer, and we just thought, oh yeah, we'll just see it anyway. But yeah, it was really good. BC even enjoyed it, didn't you? No, he actually, you quite liked it. Seven and a half out of ten. That's actually pretty good considering he says every film that we've been to see at the cinema is crap. That's the best one we've seen out of all of them. Exactly, so. <laughs> this guy thinks he's bloody some Formula One driver. You're gonna, been, you're, gonna been, see, <laughs> you're gonna see how Formula One out tomorrow when I absolutely smoke you a go kite. Oh yeah, yeah, we're going go kite tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah, he drives like a maniac in the car all the time. I always get thrown left, right, and centre. No, I'm just saying, like, I do get thrown around in the car quite a bit. It's about not driving with your hands, driving with your legs instead. <laughs> oh, see what I mean? I get thrown forward and back. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's trying to show off. 
So I don't know what I'm having for dinner yet, but we're probably just gonna chill for the rest of the evening. Just finished setting up for Bernard's birthday. This is the theme this year. Oh my god, what the hell have you done? <laughs> You're alright, help me, Jump. <laughs> Do you like the theme? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why are we doing a man your Do you not like the theme? I'm not 12, Han. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. You are. It's cute, isn't it? Lucia. No. Huh? No, it's uh, one that's this year, but I think it's, I don't know if they've got a new kit or not. Yeah, she's spent way too much money. She's been extremely naughty. I'm not. Yeah, you have. I haven't. You have? I haven't. Guys, and also, so I got him loads of presents. Oh, why did I delete that? And then I booked us a one night stay on like a big American boat for like his birthday present and our two year anniversary. She spent too much. So I'm just cropping all the pictures. She's officially lost the plot. Because he tries to find out how much things were in that, because he's annoying. No, she spent too much. I didn't spend too much. It's not a problem. He likes to always buy stuff. He doesn't let me pay for things. So I have to go OTT. No, you don't. I do. No, you don't. I do. No, you don't. Does anyone else's boyfriend do this? So obviously, he's just Googling all the prices of everything. It's so annoying. I already know the prices, but she's just spent too much money. I haven't. Like I said, you pay for like absolutely everything. And you know I go OTT anyway, because I always do, always have. We are ready, so I'm going to show you my OOTD in a second. Plans for today are, we're going to the Ivy in Cardiff, and then I might just pop into a few little shops again, and then we're going to go go-karting. So I do have like a change of outfit, because obviously I'm not going to go in a dress. Um, I put a little bit of makeup on today. I feel like I'm naked without eyelashes, but whatever so my OOTD is this beautiful peacock dress from Fashion Nova I'm gonna put some white shoes on I think because I didn't really bring any other shoes to match and then I've got my Tiffany and Co necklace on that Bernard got me for our one year anniversary we're finished at the Ivy and I have decided that posh places just aren't for me okay my steak was probably the worst steak I think I've ever had I think it was because it was mixed with some Himalayan salt rubbish and it just tasted horrible but bc really enjoyed his best day ever but yeah we've we've collectively decided that posh places can aren't just, for us can i just say that if you have your steak well done you can't comment on the steak no because the steak wasn't cremated was it it was well done yeah, it was well done, but it was the taste. It wasn't how well it was done. Basically, the Ivy's not for me, but you have to experience these things to know. So now I'm where I belong in Casper's. This is where the Bubblicious Sunday obsess obsession started. We did go in a few shops. I bought the top to my matching Victoria's Secret jogger set and he got a body warmer. Look at You're this. You're pissing me right off. This is what dreams are made of. No, I'm gonna do it for you. You're pissing me off. Yeah, do something. Look, we just want to see what yours looks like. Why Piss are you so annoying? Fun, you can't speak to me like that on your birthday I Eve. Can. No, you can't. I can, you're annoying me. Guys, we've made it to Team Sport Go Karting, and I am ready to smash BC. Also got, because Sprout took me for my birthday like many years ago, so Gee. I've got the balaclava ready to wear. I'm gonna have to put my hair down, aren't I? This is all about who does the fastest time lap, so. It's pretty much whoever comes first or second, really. And we could be up against other people. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to vlog in there. So I'll just have to tell you guys when we come back, like, how it was and who won. Just finished, um, I've got my blue eyeliner. Go-karting, oh my god, we are so sweaty, but we had a really good time. So, there was two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven of us. <laughs> I came tenth overall. Um, Bernard came fifth. There's like up to 23 laps, but I mean most people did 17 to 21. So my best was 39 seconds. Um, Bernard's was 37. The best was 35. But yeah, the girl that was in my heat as well. There's only me and one other girl. She was so annoying, right? So on the oh I didn't even tell you on the first round, 
I had to go first out of the pits and I hate going first. It's just so embarrassing. Anyways, he keeps going, come forward, come forward. And like, I'm pressing the pedal and it's not moving. And then they start my go-kart again and then I move forward. And then I go onto the track, it stops. They start it again, then it stops. And then they start it again and I to switch over and get a new um, cart. So mine kept over here. Oh, so yeah, that was the first instance of drama. Anyways, yeah, so on the second round, I go out first again, which is fine, I didn't mind that. And then obviously I got overtaken eventually by like everyone else. But I caught up to the girl, right? And she's trying to not let me get in front of her. Not like it's gonna make a difference anyway, because she's slow. So she kept trying to like block me and then she kept cr like crashing into me like it's bumper cars. And then I finally get past her. And then at one point, everyone's like catching up with each other. I don't know well, if you was in that bundle. Then at one point, everyone started bundling up and then everyone was playing like bumper cars again. Everyone kept like bumping into me. I had people going into back my neck, swinging left, right and centre. And, and then I catch up with that girl again and she does the same thing. She was literally starting to annoy me. Listen, no one to hit you if you aren't going, if you aren't going so slow. You did hit me. Yeah, because you're going so slow. Yeah, he hit me. I had a lot of fun either way. My grip, my arms, my hands, forearms, everything hurts from like gripping and trying to like, mm, you know on the second one as well Bernard just told me to floor it that's what I was doing do you know how many I was literally skidding my way across that go-kart in track yeah that's what you're supposed to do yeah is that what you're doing Sometimes I was literally it. skidding I don't think I really touched my brake I was just like I'm just gonna go for it and if I but like he said when you skid it slows you down literally I would take any of these people on the road <laughs> I would in my little gus gus I would anyway yeah so we're gonna find some food guys go home pack and that'll be about it so I'll close up the vlog in a bit Okay guys, we settled for the Turkish place that we ate at the other day. Is that bread in there? Got some chips. You not any bread? Oh yeah, can you pass me the bread please? Got some salad, some sauce. Okay guys, so we are officially leaving. We've just like tidied up the place, packed up the car. Oh, but now it's got mud everywhere. Yeah, we've just packed the car, so we're about to leave. It is half eight, not bad. We've got quite a long journey home, a good 170 odd miles or something like that. But yeah, so we hope you guys enjoyed coming to Wales with us. If you did enjoy this vlog, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications. And I'll see you guys in my next video.